What an amazing, what an amazing gift she gave us. So it's probably been 10 years now. She'd been in the nursing home for about, about a year and a half. And all of us kids were down there at Christmas. And we all went to the nursing home. And one of our nieces, Chastity, she went with us. We walked into mom's room. She was propped up in the bed. She was wide awake. And Gary brought his guitar and he said, Mom, let's sing some Christmas carols. We started singing, and we we hadn't been to God. I was in Alabama. Terry was in Florida. Gary was in Illinois. Jerry was in Ohio. But Gary just took the lead, and Jerry sang that alto, and Terry went in the middle, and I just sang what was left over. And the nursing home on that end just got really quiet. It was amazing. It was like... Just like the sweet presence of God came into that room. And mom sang with us for a while. And then she just closed her eyes and she put her head back. We got finished singing. She said, oh, my word. She said, that is the most beautiful sound I think I've ever heard in my life. She gave us that, and it was blessing her in a time she needed encouragement. What an amazing gift she gave us. I can't help but think that that's, that's part of what it means in the book of Proverbs to train up a child in the way they should go. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. Maybe, you're, maybe your family wasn't singers, but, but, but maybe, they're, maybe they're artists. Maybe they're gifted speakers. Train up those children in the way they should go. Figure out what their strengths are and, and help them use it for the glory of God. The third thing that my mom gave me was the gift of prayer. Prayer. 